we'll guide you through how to download and install Iris shaders in Minecraft 1.21.5. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Doing this means we can then go and have shaders in the game. Shaders can completely change the look of Minecraft and make it look maybe more realistic or just unique. So to get started, let's close Minecraft. What you need to do is open up a web browser of your choice. We're going to head to a site called CurseForge. This is where you can go and download many different Minecraft mods. Come to curseforge.com. Go and select Minecraft and we can then select search for Minecraft mods. We can type in the search bar iris shaders like so. And what we then need to do is go and find it and click on it. You can scroll down here and read about it, but I'll be guiding you through the install process now. Select files and come to the downloads. What's super key is the game version is 1.21.5. You can see that there. And the mod loader is for fabric. Press the three dots to the right and go and press download and wait. That's now downloaded. Now what you want to do is go and press the back button to you back to the search page. And now we need to get something called sodium. Sodium is needed to run Iris. So go and type that in. Here it is. Go and click on it. You can read through the description, but I'll be guiding you through it. You can press files at the top. Now, what's super key is we get it for 1.21.5 and for Fabric. For me, that's the second option here for me. We can press the three dots to the right and press download file and wait for it to start downloading. Keep pressing back like so until you get to this page and you can select browse all at the top, but come down to browse by and you can go and select shaders and you can start seeing some different packs here. And what you can then do is go and check out the description as often you're going to see some pictures here or you can actually go through the gallery as well. To, when you find one you want, press files and we can scroll down. We can go and see this is for 1.21.5. I'll press the three dots to the right and go and press download file. Now we can wait for it to finish. We've now downloaded what we need from CurseForge and you want to open up a new tab and go and type in Fabric Minecraft. This is what will allow us to go and run Iris and Sodium. So come to fabricmc.net and then we can press the download button at the top and press download for Windows. It will download and we can also then get the Fabric API. Go and click there and we back on Curse Forge. press files throughout the description and we can then make sure we get the API for 1.21.5, that's super key. Press the three dots to the right and press download file. Big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. You can get a Minecraft server with them. I'll put a link down below in the pinned comment and the description. At the moment, you can get 30% off your first invoice. They've got so many great features like 24 seven servers and support so you can get help anytime you need it for your always online server. They've got instant setup, a free subdomain, one click install mod packs and much more. So if you're interested, I'll put a link down below and you can check them out. Thanks to them for sponsoring the video. But to continue with the guide, open up your file explorer and you can press downloads to the right and you'll see what we downloaded. First of all, find the fabric installer and double click on it. You'll get this pop up. Make sure the Minecraft version is set to 1.21.5 and press install. It will run through and that's it there. Now what we can do is go and click search at the bottom and go and open up the Minecraft launcher. Go to the top and press installations and you can scroll down and find fabric 1.21.5. Press on the folder icon to the right when hovering over it. Now you can scroll down and you want to go and find the option for mods. What you then need to do is go and drag and drop what we downloaded in there and set the shader pack. So go and drag in Iris Fabric, then Sodium Fabric, and then the Fabric API. Now come back to the launcher and we can go and launch Fabric 1.21.5. Now we need to go and pause the game by pressing escape, press options and video settings and press shader packs at the top. What we then need to do is go and drag and drop them in. So come to your file explorer and come to your downloads and drag and drop them in like so. Then you can go and enable shaders and you can go and press apply like so and you can go and select the pack there as well and here we are we've gone and installed iris shaders you can go and see these are absolutely incredible of course the shaders will look different depending upon the pack you're using 